today we are going to learn about a very interesting problem and that is of string matching okay so string matching is used quite a lot and in lot of different fields so one very basic method that we all know is by brute force okay but here we will look at one of very interesting algorithm which is known as horse pull algorithm and it is very much similar to boys moore algorithm also okay so you will understand from this the table construction for both the horse pulls algorithm and boys moore algorithm that is very famous string matching algorithm in fact it is used in lot of virus detection using pattern matching so this is the algorithm that is used so let's see what is string matching so you will be given a text okay so like the text a b a c a b d a c c something like this a big string you will also be given a pattern so with this pattern you have to now find is this pattern present in this string or not okay so this is the idea so let's see the so text is s0 s1 s2 s3 till sn minus 1 okay and how we try with brute force so this is the text what we do this is a b c a a b c a b b a so we have this as the text and then we have a pattern b c a okay so you have to find is there a pattern bc of three letters does it exist the simplest algorithm this is the text if we use a sliding window it starts with the first character of t we have this window now what you need to do just see if from right to left we do so is c is equal to a so no so this means this pattern doesn't match because for pattern to match all of them should be equal so we can match each letter from left to right or right to left both are fine so from left to right is a is equal to b no okay so if any one of them doesn't match it's not a pattern so here for boys moore algorithm or for hospital algorithm we will use from right to left we will match the pattern so c is not equal to a in the first letter itself it doesn't match so we slide the window by 1 to the right b c a now we see a is equal to a corresponding c is equal to c and b is equal to b so b c a matches the pattern and hence we say now that we have matched got one pattern but still we can move further we can slide the window once again to the right so it will come here b c a b is not equal to a so this will not match again let's see if this if we move further two shifts so b c a is matching in the last final shift b c a is not matching so we got two shifts which are matching so this is the method and now if the length of this is n this is m so you can understand that for one matching with shift if this window is somewhere so to match if it is the same this pattern is there in the text so you have to compare m text isn't it and this sliding window can how many shifts can it make so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 eight shifts okay so it can make maximum of so this n is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 mm. so around m minus so n minus m plus 1 something like this it can make the number of shifts okay so you have the algorithm which will be o of m into n minus m plus 1 so mostly it will be o of m into n okay so this will be the time complexity if we use the brute force method okay so if n is very large and m is large so this will be a complicated algorithm big basically you have to try out lot of shifts 
but what is done in now the horse pulse algorithm so if we can find that in the text pattern if we can see that in the pattern if we can pre-process it and find some useful information we can make shifts larger than one without missing any of the patterns so that is the beauty and the key idea the key is shift of length greater than one okay and of course maximum it will be m so what happens let's see so if we have a pattern which is barber okay which will cut your hair so barber if it is there and let's say we have some string which goes on like this till sn minus one so this is the text string and in that let's say that our window was somewhere in which the last string the last character of the text is s and we have r there so these two doesn't match isn't it s is not equal to r so we take the from the pattern window whatever is matching there the last character c so here c is equal to s so we compare these and we start from right to left so s is not equal to r so what happens now so let's see how much shift can we make so we see that s is not at all present in the barber pattern so what happens if we make a shift by one so now e will be now coming to face s e is not equal to s because s is in fact not there in any of the it is not present in the pattern so now with two shift b will come to s still it will be not matching it will be rejected with three shift r will match s again so what will happen with shift of three also it will not work because r is not equal to s then with shift of four we will have a aligned to s again s is not equal to a if we shift by five so b is aligned with s it will also not match okay so that's the thing so it means that if the character c is not present at all in the pattern then you can directly make a shift of how much of m okay so here it is m is equal to 6 and we can make a shift because 1 2 3 4 5 6 its length is 6 so we can make a shift of 6 directly because this s it is not found in this whole pattern so it will never match and we have to just shift so that s doesn't come in the alignment anymore so we can make a shift of 6 bingo so it's something great you're not now moving very slowly your window can move fast when one step just go directly m steps further one sh m shifts now let's see we have some text pattern in which the last the window is now aligned here and the last character c is equal to b now we see that b is present in our pattern because b is occurring twice so b is present and what happens <clears throat> now if we slide how much shift can i make still so that i don't miss the any pattern if it was found if I make a shift by 1, again E is not equal to B, that will not work. But if I make a shift of 2, so B, this B will now get aligned to this B. So again the pattern can match, okay. So shift of 2 will be fine here. So we have to, this B, we will try to match if this B is present in this barber or the pattern. So we will take the, try to align the right most b here to this b okay so we will have a shift of 2 so that this b now comes under this b so this makes a shift of 2 again it is good enough so better than one shift case 3 that character c which is the last aligned character with the pattern if this c is the last character in pattern but no c is present in the first m minus 1 character so this is another case case 3 so let's say we have R is present and they both are aligning. Good. We move further. 
so what happens this r is not there in the first m minus 1 characters so how much shift can i make now again if we make a shift of this e will come here then d will come here a so because there is nothing in the first m minus 1 characters there is no r so again you can make a shift of m bingo so that's very good news you can make a shift of m itself and it's much much better than one the case fourth the last case is that if c the last aligned letter is also present in the first m minus one characters then what we should do again try to align the right most letter that is present in the pattern to that c okay so for example again r is here it is matching but r is also here and here okay so it's occurring more than once in the not just the last but other places also so again we want to align this r to now this r so we have to make a shift of how much this r if i want to make it here so one two three so make a shift of three so well here is this algorithm now okay so this is the basic idea of both the horse pull algorithm and boy move algorithm okay so this is the idea so make a table okay so where we know that okay if it is the last c that we are matching if it is not there how much shift we have to do and because this will be occurring for lot of times so we pre-compute a table and use that table directly to find how much shift will be there okay so this is the pre-processing so we have this c now the last letter can be anything from the alphabet of a b c d e whatever you can write okay so that is the alphabet in that you have to write the table for all so this input pre-processing is done so we have a string p p is the pattern and size is the size of the alphabet so for example just for simple a b c till z you have 26 letters the upper case and smaller case so if we are just writing in let's say smaller case so your alphabet size is 26 if you take a space there it will become 27 so table will be of the size of your alphabet so now we will compute shift size for all letters so what we do in the first for loop for all the letters in the alphabet we make table for that letter is equal to m because if it is not present if that letter is not present in the pattern you can directly shift by m that the pattern length but for letters which are present so what we will do so for example barber so this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 and m is equal to 6 so we shift for all this for r for example we make a shift of how much so it will be 6 minus 1 and minus j so j here is the position of r the rightmost position of r okay so it will be here so r is the 2 so it will be 4 okay so let's try to see this thing so here is the table so barber is our pattern so we have table all the alphabets a b c d e f g till z and a space now so a so a occurs where here so its position is j is equal to 1 m is 6 so 6 minus 1 minus j which is equal to 4 so you will shift for a you make a shift of 4 for b so b is present the rightmost b so it is here so we make so b is now at 0 1 2 3 so b is at 3 so 6 minus 1 minus 3 so 2 so we have a 2 shift c is not present in barber so make a shift of 6 e is present so its value is for j is 5 in fact 0 1 2 3 4 so 6 minus 1 minus 4 so it is 1 so e is 1 here for r it is this one so except the last character where is it found rightmost so r here it is so 0 1 2 so 6 minus 1 minus 2 
it is becoming 3 so r is 3 and for all other it is 6 so now let's get started with the example which will help you understand everything in a nutshell jim saw me in a barber parlor okay so this is the sentence the text Jim saw me in a barber parlor. Okay, so he found me. But now you have to find is barber the pattern present. Okay, Jim found me, but you have to find barber in this tree. So barber now again we start alignment. So B is now the first letter A R B E R. Okay, so we will now start comparing from the last letter A and R are aligned, they are not equal. So A is the last letter. Just see from the table the shift. Shift by 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. B comes here by shift of 4. Barber. Now E is aligned to R the last letter. E and R are not equal. See the shift of E. 1. So we make a shift of 1. E comes here so that E and E are now aligned. So we will try to now see is it happening so underscore and r are missing but we try to align e with e so that at least it's possible that okay we are aligning something so there might be a match but it's not happening r and space are not matching so underscore there is no underscore in the pattern shift by six directly barber now comes to this place barber again r and b are not matching but b if it is there shift by two so barber comes here r and r are matching good a and e are not matching so last letter was r if you have an r shift by three okay so that this r is now aligned to so you have to make a shift such that so this b gets aligned to so now what let's see what is happening b so we have a B, so with B you have to make a shift of 2, I made a shift of 2, barber, R and R are matching, A and this are not matching, so R again, so for R you have to make a shift of 3, so I come here, 1, 2, 3, so barber, now R is matching, E is matching with this E, B is matching here, R and R matching, A and A matching, B and B matching, bingo, so it is matched now. And you have found me also and Jim has found me and you have found Barber here. Okay. So now that for any random text. So this requires now theta of n time for finding the match. Okay. So this is the average running time. Okay. For this for finding the pattern. And if you see for this table creation, it is just done once. And that's called the pre-processing and it will be taking time of what this size is so theta of size so this is the size of the alphabet it will take okay so this is running just once then after that you can oh, match the pattern in theta n time okay so that is a great news so now you know how to do pattern matching at least much faster than the brute force method and this runs in theta n times on average whereas that was theta n into m so you are getting such a great benefit so theta n into m so this will be if m is large 10 so it will be coming 10 times of this okay so this is great pattern the pattern length increases this will be much more okay so i hope you like this video it is very interesting pattern matching so if you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Tell it to your friends also to watch my YouTube videos. Thanks a lot.